Hello, and thank you for joining this virtual visit of the 5th Aude Mar Piguet Art Commission. You are about to enter the exhibition of multidisciplinary artist Phoebe Hui, who is presenting her artwork, The Moon is Leaving Us, commissioned by Aude Mar Piguet Contemporary in collaboration with guest curator Ying Kwok. The artwork is currently on view at Taekwon Center for Heritage and Arts in Hong Kong. We'll now be joined by Aude Mar Piguet contemporary curator, Audrey Teichmann, who will take us on a digital walkthrough of the exhibition. I'm pleased to be with you. Let's begin our visit. Phoebe Wee is a research-based artist whose practice is focused on the audience's experience. As Ying, the curator of the exhibition, puts it, she is a visual poet who researches and dissects information and interprets it in a very visual, imaginative way. Together, we'll go through the exhibition and explore the artist's approach. The Moon is Leaving Us is inspired by historical observations, as well as the latest scientific data of the Moon. When researching this artwork, Phoebe discovered that the Moon is fleeing away from us at a rate of roughly 3.78 centimeters per year, about the same speed at which our fingernails grow. Scientists guesstimate that 1.4 billion years ago, a day on Earth would last just over 18 hours. During a single human lifetime, the difference may not be noticeable, and the impact on us may appear insignificant, right? Yes, but the moon leaving us raises interesting questions concerning scientific observation and representation. As Phoebe learned when developing this artwork, scientific instruments function as a window into the invisible world. Instruments are used to reveal new observable phenomena that humans are not able to experience. They claim to represent the natural invisible by artificial means. Phoebe often commented to me while working on the project that there is a special place in people's hearts for the moon. To her, the moon is a symbol of the future and an imaginary place that encourages exploration. This led Phoebe to create the machine you're seeing in front of you, a large-scale kinetic robot named Selenite. Selenite consists of screens arranged in a parabolic shape, like a satellite dish. You can see on each screen images of the moon craters as they would be seen from outer space. Selenite's arms are separate, but could conceivably come together to form a single image of the moon. Each screen is overlaid with a rotating polarizer, which, as it moves, highlights the fleeting nature of reality. For Phoebe, it was important for the overall image to appear on multiple screens. This alludes to the fact that we are kept informed about nature in a fragmented manner, mediated by technological instruments. The moon drawings you can find exhibited in the corridor show two opposite sides of the moon side by side. The drawings have been produced by a robot named Selina, built by hand and programmed by the artist. The machine produces images of both the visible and the invisible sides of the moon that cannot be seen without the support of satellites. From Earth, we will always see the same side of the moon as it spins around the Earth at the same speed as it spins around its axis. These drawings are based on moon imagery available through NASA open source data. They are inspired by the history of scientific observation during the 17th century, when scientists started to use new tools like the telescope to observe phenomena beyond our limited human point of view. When producing these images, scientists need to think of which information to include and which to leave out as irrelevant. In a way, a scientist is like an artist who understands the importance of visual literacy. The human limitation and constraint about our perception of the moon urged Phoebe to start a journey of exploration, tracing back to the 17th century. Galileo, first created his own 14 times magnification factor telescope to study the moon in 1609. 
and started a race to build better telescopes. By the 1670s, Johannes Hevelius had built a 40 meter long telescope better suited for astronomical research. For centuries, we have continued to build instruments to observe and document the moon. Inspired by Evelius' own construction, Phoebe built Selena, a robotic arm that rose the moon. Phoebe chose to use machine learning algorithms to build these drawing robots. Selena's special programming, based on a CNN type of machine learning, allows an algorithm to compose one image in the style of another image. As such, while the drawings are based on the latest open source data from NASA, they are made to appear at the hand of the 17th century astronomer Johannes Hevelius, the first astronomer to achieve detailed lunar topography. I'd like to conclude today's visit with the words of guest curator Ying Kwok. The moon might continue to drift away, but the knowledge and experience gained in this journey will continue to inspire our curiosity and investigate further into the unknown. Thank you for discovering The Moon is Leaving Us. And thank you, Audrey, for your insights. <laughs>